The home of the Boston Red Sox, Yaki Way. But owner John Henry wants all that to change, saying that he's haunted by its racist connotations. Now, the Yaki family owned the team for decades, but now the Red Sox want to change the name of Yaki Way. And Katie Brace is live outside Fenway Park tonight with more. Katie? Well, in the wake of the current political climate and dialogue on racism, owner John Henry says it is the right time to change the name of Yaki Way. But for many fans, it's more about the issue of what this iconic street has come to represent. Yaki Way has become synonymous with Red Sox greatness. Fans take it over during games and especially celebrations. I just think of all the World Series that have been won here and, you know, the history that happens on this street. Owner John Henry wants to change the name that is also associated with some of the Sox segregated times. I just think if, there, if there's anyone in the community that feels uncomfortable uh, because of a symbol uh, or a reminder of the past, it's incumbent upon us to at least examine the issue. And In the 40s and 50s, Major League Baseball was integrating. The Red Sox under former owner Tom Yawkey was the last to do so. That was a, a long time ago, okay? He changed. Legend Rico Petroselli wore the Red Sox uniform his entire career. Why change it? Siaki was a good owner. I mean, I played under him. He was a terrific guy. What the name represents now is still in play. I'd say you want to keep it Yaki Way. Just, it's like Fenway Park, all the history here. There's been always some talk about Yaki, like quietly, behind the scenes, being racist. But now with all this business going on with Virginia, I just think it's, it's apropos. Yaki Way is all Red Sox. We would definitely miss it because it's been yeah. Yaki Way for our lifetime. Uh, but, you know, times have changed. It's 2017. And Mayor Marty Wall says he supports a name change. Now, a name change is not automatic. This is a public street, and a public process needs to go through. Some ideas that have already been floated, Big Poppy Way and David Ortiz Way. Reporting live at Fenway, Katie Brace, WBC News. And tonight, the Yaki Foundation released a statement saying, in part, Gene and Tom Yaki's philanthropy has always been colorblind and that it's disheartened by any effort to embroil the Yaki's in today's political controversy.